What's up everyone, you're watching Eric Games Daily and welcome back to Shadow of War. I'm kind of glad that I didn't put up a video because we did get some uh, extra votes late last night. So, let's just go ahead and go check on our guy real quick. And uh, let's give him these training orders. Uh, so we are going to give him exactly what I recommended, so thank you uh, to those of you who agreed with what I thought we should give him and it is defenders and a poison weapon and we are going to give him poison master so we're gonna go ahead and give him this real quick all right let's go ahead and check on him now so vulnerable to stealth doesn't matter in the pits damage by fire and damage by beasts but it isn't heavily damaged, so I guess we don't have to worry too much. Um, he's arrow-proof, poison-proof, and immune to executions. Um, enraged by injury, which that has been procking a lot for him lately. Uh, bestial frenzy, so if he takes out a Karagor, he's enraged as well. And enraged by poison, so if he gets hit by his own poison, he's going to be enraged. So I have a feeling this guy is going to be our third champion. But I have said that before, and I have been wrong. But he is a Berserker, so we have that on our side as well. And here we go with the Poison Master, Poison Weapon, and a Gang of Defenders. So, he is ready. So let's go ahead and send him over to round one. Good luck, Erdag. I really do hope you become a champion, because I love the way that you look. I, I really like him, because all of his armor looks like it matches. You know, he doesn't have, like, weird different pieces on. It's just one full you know suit of armor he looks awesome so let's hope he becomes our third champion so here we are at round one and look at this guy let's go ahead and check him out Golm the fearful <laughs> yeah I can tell he's afraid of everything so apparently he doesn't like bugs or betrayal which I mean who does he is soft-headed fear of pinning and fear of executions um, damage by ranged, fire, and executions, frostproof, vigilant against stealth, enraged by poison though. Alright, so we're going to end up enraging this guy, but I, I still think that we might come out on top, but that sucks. Right off the bat, enraged by poison. Ah, yeah, yeah, he's a trickster with smoke bomb, outlaw bolas, and a crossbow, and he has a gang of archers, but he is a, a level 33, so, uh, Good luck. Good luck, buddy. Um, let's go ahead and select our guy. Erdag, good luck, man. I really hope this game doesn't screw you with the level 33. I mean, how sad would that be? <laughs> let's go ahead and check out round one. Promise me you'll struggle. It's no fun when they just keel over. Stop babbling and get to fighting! I agree, I agree. Oh, immediately, a little combo going. Uh, this guy's rushing him. He keeps getting this, this little combat thing. Uh, our guy has taken a bit of damage, but that defender decides to sit in front of him. Oh, he got enraged and killed him in two hits. So, uh, round one over. That was quick. Damn! Alright. Let's head over to round two. I have a feeling this is going to go very quickly. So here we go. Olog versus Olog. And this dude looks pretty cool. I mean, his his goatee and his uh, mohawk even match the fur on his armor. Let's go ahead and check him out. Our Hinnok, uh, the, the bludger. Um, he's soft-headed. Uh, damage by executions, damage by stealth, and beasts. He's fireproof. Well, that's good for us. Immune to curse. He has no hates, so we don't have to worry about that. But tracker, master of the hunt, and Olog strength. And he has a gang of hunters, so uh, that could be bad for us. That could be good for us. Um, but I think this guy's going to be an easy target. As cool as you look, man. I wish you were a lot better stat-wise, but I mean, we are facing you. This dude is really cool. I like him a lot. Let's go ahead and set up round two. Good luck, Erdag. I fight for Sauron, 
and I will gladly dedicate your death to him. Are we going to do this, or are you all talk? <laughs> I love everything that this dude says. Oh, and uh, the other Olog is taking out our grunts, and so are we. Wow. Our guy's already enraged, um, trying to get a good view, but the camera's just going back and forth. I'm not even touching anything at this point. The game is doing what it wants to do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we gotta fight. Oh, maybe not. That was funky. Sorry that that went all crazy. Uh, look at our guy. He's smiling for us. He's happy as can be. And we need to buy him a toothbrush, don't we? Alright, let's go ahead and move on to round three. And hopefully it won't be so crazy. So here we are. Round three. A little bit more difficult. These guys are bumped up to level 43. But this guy is afraid of burning. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but it totally didn't come out right. <laughs> uh, he's also dazed by stealth, fear of ghouls, and none of that really matters except for the fire. Um, damage by fire, stealth attacks, and executions. Please don't be poison proof. He is not. He is arrow proof though. Um, enraged by flies, okay. The whole assassin thing he's got going on. Flame weapon, wow. I hope you don't light yourself on fire. Jeez, Caragor Rider. Alright, Og, the Taskmaster. Good luck. I think uh, our guy is gonna kick his ass as well, but let's see what happens. Let's teach you a lesson, shall we? I am here waiting. Come! <laughs> I love this dude, I love this dude, so looks like he doesn't have any backup, nope, and he took out his Karagor, so he is enraged. I think this guy might be a little unfair to have in the pits. This dude is, it's just gonna, yep, yep, oh, he missed that last swipe, but he died from poison anyways. That was, uh, that wasn't very exciting. Come on, Erdag, give us a better show. We may have to do an extra, like, pit fight in the final rounds, but... He is victorious so far, halfway through, so let's go ahead and move on to round four. Here we go, round four is another Olog, and he is cool looking. He is an outlaw, right? No, he is a dark. He is a dark destroyer, Arhisu the Shy. Well, man, this is not the time to be shy. He, he's afraid of being burned, exhaustion, uh, damaged by ranged fire and beasts, Immune to uh, executions, frostproof, vigilant against stealth, enraged by drakes, that's not going to help you here. Um, destroyer, sappers, final blast, Olog strength, he has iron will, but he has bombs and mines as well. So, I think this is going to be another easy fight. Hopefully, the last two fights will be um, more of a fight, because <laughs> right now this dude's just like warming up still. So, round four, good luck, Erdag. show you how to fight that is very funny but I do not have time to laugh now <laughs> well I, I do I do uh, here we go they're both getting actually our guys getting beat up I don't know what that was about but there we go Erdag with the roar and he just drops a bomb to stun Erdag and Erdag is picking up his own defender to throw at uh, Arhisu and he misses but now Erdag is enraged he gets him poisoned. He's already more than halfway done, and he gets slapped across the face. I really wish we could see some executions here. Come on. Come on. Round four. Over already. I don't even know what we're looking at now. <laughs> well, let's get over to uh, round five, shall we? So here we are, and this is the victim of round five. And I say that because look at him. Good lord, you're a mess. I mean, you do look pretty cool, but... Man, did you, like, pop a pimple and it went wrong or something? Did you go to shave your face and totally fuck up? I would really like to know the story behind this guy. And check out his title. Hoorah, the disgusting. And that is 100% accurate. He is uh, vulnerable to stealth. Fear of caragors and exhaustion. 
A lot of guys with exhaustion today. I don't know what's up with that. Damage by ranged, fire, and beasts. Well, our guy is a beast, so be ready. Immune to executions. Enraged by executions. Enraged by pinning. Enraged by mortal wounds. Enraged by burning. And last stand. So, this guy has a, a pretty good chance of getting enraged. I mean, the mortal wounds will pop up, or it'll proc when he's low in health. And, uh... This guy doesn't seem to have a fire weapon, so that's not going to help him. Um, yeah, I, I, I think this guy's going to be slaughtered before he even has a chance to get pissed. But he is a berserker. Furious charge, rapid rampage. You know, you guys already know all this, so let's go ahead and see if this is going to be a fight at all. Erdag, good luck, buddy. See if you can get past me! I will pile the corpses high with yours on the bottom! Nice, but did you guys notice that he has more detail on his face now? I don't know what was up with that, but he has already pissed off Erdag. Erdag is enraged, and uh, I don't even. Yep, yep, I'm not even gonna say anything because it's. This dude's lasting a lot longer than I thought, but that poison's gonna kill him. He's getting hits on Erdag. Erdag has taken him like a champ, though. Wow, he actually is surviving that poison. Erdag blocks and bounces him backwards. And he is getting killed by a grunt. Check that out. I haven't seen that before, but that is amazing. While well, Erdag just sits there and smiles. So, a way more interesting round that time. I'm happy for it, and so is this guy. Check him out. So... He's probably happy because he's moving on to round six. Now let's go and check that out. So here we are at round six, the final round, before we have ourselves a third champion. And um, before we check this guy out, would you guys like to see the champions fight each other um, at some point after we get a few more? I really don't want to lose Mr. Woo Woo because I like him as a character. Like... I don't know, just, I really wouldn't want to put him out there, but I mean, we could have some of our champions uh, face each other at some point. Uh, just a thought that I would throw out there, let me know what you guys think. But again, I really don't want Mr. Woo Woo to die. I, I, I like having him just because he's hilarious. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. The final round, round six, we have Douche Who Flees. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, douche, uh, you guys always have the perfect titles after the name douche, douche who flees, uh, flee, flees from, um, I'm not even gonna continue that, but mortal beast fodder, terrified of more guy flies, terrified of grogs, damaged by fire and poison, and ranged attacks, immune to curse, Immune to execution, vigilant against stealth, enraged by acrobatics. We don't have to worry about that. I mean, it would be pretty funny to see an Olog doing some acrobatics. Probably cause an earthquake every time. So this guy is a commander. Um, nothing really here that's going to help him unless he could use those bolas to help him out. But I think we got ourselves another champion. I may do an extra round again this time just, just to see. But um, I'm still counting him as a champion if he is successful this round. But uh, yeah, maybe his gang of hunters will help him. But that Karagor is just going to enrage our guy. So this guy was like OP, man. I think we need to go back to... Uh, we, we need to go back to using the guys that we have on our army screen because the guys I have in the garrison are like bound to win. I mean, we, we want winners, I know. But let's go ahead and grab uh, Erdag. I mean, he's already won, right? <laughs> this is where your journey ends. You have chosen where you will die. I will choose how. Ooh. So here we go. Starting it off. I mean, that commander does look pretty badass. Um, but uh, Erdag is not having it. Those hunters are hitting the commander. Oh, they pissed Erdag off. There we go. 
Erdag is stunned by those hunters though. Those hunters are gonna do work. Those defenders need a help. The commander comes in and smacks him on the butt and gets knocked off his Karagor and Erdag is enraged. He's already taken out one hunter but he's coming back for the commander and knocks out his defenders. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh, Erdag is just showing off now. I think the commanders are just standing there. Okay. We got the commander poisoning. Uh, douche. I should call him douche, right? Um, there we go. Big smack in the back by Erdag. Erdag is hitting him again. Wow, Erdag does damage. And he's gonna go in. Please do a finisher. Yes! We got a finisher. What a hell of a hit. And he just clubs him over the head. Douche who flees has fled. And we have another champion. So congratulations to Erdag. But let's go ahead and give him one more round for that smiling face of his. So here we are at the extra round just for fun. And this guy looks very intimidating. Let's see if he is. Skok the Terror. I love the title. Um, he's damaged by ranged attacks, damaged by fire and stealth attacks, immune to execution and curse, enraged by pinning, Beastmaster, all of that normal stuff, and a Karagor pack and Beast Slayer. So, another easy fight, but you know what? Let's just see if this is going to be a little more interesting. Erdag, I'm pretty sure he can survive, but here we go with the extra round. Let's grab Erdag and have fun, buddy. This is like a victory round. Do like it when they act big. Stop stalling and make a move. Careful. So here we go. And uh, Erdag is going straight for the Karagors. Good on him though, because now he's enraged. I mean, this dude is a beast. He's definitely going in my fort. He doesn't even flinch when he's hit. But that poison really does help him. And he's just crushing this guy. And it, it is over and he hit his defenders and somehow killed him <laughs> there we go the extra round i mean that was kind of a a waste of time now wasn't it let's go see is he still down there no he is not uh oh well i think he's ready to be put in the fort me hitting all the wrong buttons again the usual so congratulations to erdag he is week seven's champion freaking awesome so now we have three champions i need to figure out where i'm gonna put them up in my fort maybe i'll just take one of the guys out put them in my garrison and put this guy up there because that's where i've been putting all of our champions so far so he might as well join them up there and this guy is a beast so i mean yeah th th this guy just gets enraged immediately so congratulations to Erdag. Week 7 is over. Um, this weekend I'm going to be doing some more uh, play tests with my dad. Trying to make sure that everything is set up. But yeah, while I figure this stuff out, please bear with me. And I want to thank everybody for all of the support. We are one subscriber away from 200. And my views have been crazy lately. So I want to thank you guys for always coming, to, coming back to uh, check out my content. I really appreciate it. And uh, I just don't know what else to say. Just thank you guys so much. It, it really does mean a lot to me. So, uh, yeah, just a lot of things to look forward to. Again, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I think this guy was a little OP for the uh, pit fights, my personal opinion. He, he just... It wasn't even a fight. He, he just went in there and wrecked everyone. So <laughs> maybe we'll figure out some way to, uh, to spice it up a little bit or something. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Game Daily.